you know, I've been, I've been waiting my entire life. Right, well. <laughs> my entire life to do this. <laughs> This is a weird time for me to start this vlog, but I figured I would narrate it from here. This is part two of my Marbella vlog. If you haven't seen part one, click around here somewhere. There's gonna be a link. Day two is when we arrived at the Ascari racetrack. So that's what you're about to see now. I was in the car in the GT3 at the end of the last vlog. Then we switched drivers. Amrit started driving and we arrived at Ascari racetrack. Amrit at the wheel now. So second gear, 5,000 RPM, full throttle guy. Seven, eight. Oh, it sounds so good! Welcome to Ascari! What? This is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. How you feeling, big fella? Not feeling too great. I'm yeah? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Sat in the back of a truck. <laughs> There's this tree. There's actually stairs. I don't know why you'd want to go see the tree, but you can if you, if you fancy it. Is that some sort of rare tree? Sick tree. How are you with trees? No, well, I haven't got a clue. Right, right, right. So, Ascari racetrack. We haven't been round yet. We're going to do a few sighting laps, but I thought I would show you this. We've had, oh yeah, Performantes joined us. This epic, epic. And Marketino as well, who's here. Who you guys, when was the last time you were in a video of mine? I think when you had the blue GTR. Yeah, quite a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a while ago. I was, I was 11. So now we got the GT3, we got the Performante, the 458 Spider, which is my dream car, and I'm kind of hoping I get a go in there. So, we're not going to go fast, but you guys know this is my dream car. This is about to be the first time I drive it. It's going to be very slow, but it's still it's still a drive. So I'm going to put my GoPro up, even though it's slow. We're going to do this. I'm so excited. It's like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> Sounds so good. It's so naughty. So naughty. You know, I've been I've been waiting my entire life. Right. Well, <laughs> my entire life to do this. Sounds amazing. I can't believe I'm driving a 458. It's gonna be very slow. It's gonna be very, very slow. Oh my god. Ah, I'm so happy. Oh, and also, by the way, Ascari Racetrack, check this out. This is what life is all about. This is amazing. It makes a weird noise, doesn't it? Like it goes bow. How do you feel? Mate, I want one so... I've driven two cars that I've fallen completely in love with now. What was the first? The GT3. Oh, of course. I like literally fell in love with the GT3. Absolute machine. There we go. Ah! You know when you say they say don't meet your heroes? I kind of felt like that might happen with this. I might be disappointed. But no. This has surpassed anything I could have ever wished for. What a car. What a machine. What a dream. Then what happened? At first we were only allowed to drive the Ferraris for the photos for not going fast and then they came up to me and said if you put a helmet on you can take the Ferrari out as fast as you like on the track. So that's what happened now. I am about to take my dream car on one of the best racetracks in the entire world with my best mate. Oh sweet. This is pretty crazy. You ready? This is literally your whole life. This is my whole life up. coming into one moment.
you feel? I feel, I feel reborn. I genuinely feel reborn. Now I understand why people have been raving about this so much. And screw the whole theory of don't meet your heroes. Do. Because you may just come out like me, the happiest person ever. Why don't you go out in the Lamborghini now, take this camera, let me know what it's Let's like. Let's go play. about to take this out GT3 manual gearbox this is gonna be fun Seb's hopping in with me I he's just really uh, he feels very sick apparently how are you feeling well, the hurricane has sent me to the hospital I'm gonna hand you this camera Should just I point it forwards am I not allowed to put my seatbelt on yeah I think I might need it that noise the brakes are solid turn in with you and you can steer and it will go exactly where you want it to go but yeah fantastic car how are you feeling i mean i feel a lot better now like, what did you puke everything from lunch is now in the toilet no like, way <laughs> no way yeah, sorry yeah. sorry sev i do apologize yeah, but you know now you can say you've puked after being I on track be getting in any more cars today i can tell you that <laughs> <laughs> well that's sev we've now done a bunch of supercars but Furlan Tech, who, by the way, I didn't really explain this. What they've done is they've invented these, like, they've done these black boxes, effectively, so you can do this car sharing. They're gonna have an app where it's car sharing, and effectively, you can rent out your car and with the black box, see how people are driving them. So, you don't feel like you're just renting your car out to anyone. They'll have limit on what they can do with your car, an easy drive, normal drive. It's a really, really cool concept. And so they invited us out there here, and they said they had a special surprise. I didn't know what it was. Turns out, it is this. They're gonna let us have a go in a Formula 3 car. Look at this animal first of all number one so it's probably the quickest thing in the world but it is absolutely mental proper legit formula 3 car I've never experienced something like this so it's gonna be crazy to try it out and uh, yeah just thank you this is very intimidating this guy's taking the car out to warm it up I'm a bit terrified. Right, Sebastian Delaney, you're about to step into an F3 car. For the first time in my life, first Formula car I'm doing in my life. This is gonna be, yeah, I'm quite nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you. We'll see what happens. I'm putting this on, hoping and praying that it will stay on. 
but we'll see what happens. Apparently it vibrates so much it might fall off, and I will have no way of knowing until I come back into the pit. I get two laps, car's going to be mediumly warm, not that warm, tyres, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's, let's see what happens. Just before I get into the S3, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going to be able to do any commentating or anything because they literally just let me put that one GoPro up, and that was about it. So any wind noise and stuff, I'm sorry about, didn't have much choice. This day just keeps getting better and better. Um, I've just been told that I now have an hour drive back in the 458, which as you know is my dream car, and now I get to drive it on the road. I am <laughs> beyond excited. First things first, I have no idea how to open the boot yet. Maybe, okay, let me put this down. This is for the back, maybe it's on the, ah, it's on the key. Yay! I can't believe this. This is such a dream come true. This is, this could either be the best thing in the world, as it will motivate me to work hard to get one of these, or maybe I won't want one and then I won't bankrupt myself. But it could also be the worst thing in the world where it ends up making me want to sell everything and just buy one. The only annoying thing are these valves. I don't like the valves, because they're like opening, closing, opening, closing. Yeah. I would just take them off. Bro, Clemens is really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> are you Are you joking? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. This is this is the greatest thing ever.
thanks to you. High five, bro. bro being a great I can't wait for, on this. for what's coming up, bro. I know we've got a street gasm. Tell them we're gonna be driving street gas together. That's true. I forgot. I was yeah. gonna answer this video. Amrit and I are doing street gas as team YouTube together in June. Is yeah, 9th of June. June. We're gonna start in Slovenia. Yeah, we're starting in Slovenia. It's gonna be crazy. So very, very excited for that. And hopefully, maybe we'll have something like this to do it in. Anyways, thanks for everything as usual, guys. See you soon. Ciao, ciao. That's the vlog, that was part two of Marbella. It was an insane day and ended, as you saw, on a fantastic note. So thank you to Furland Tech, thank you to you guys for watching, and I'll see you again for another video very, very soon. Cheers, bye-bye. You are getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes on my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. Them boy there try to suck the truth. How dare you to suck the truth.